Hey everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV where today we are learning about Alphano's new organization he wishes to form and it sounds like we're going to be recruiting the realm to join it. Alphano wishes to request your assistance for his new endeavors. Pray forgive me if I tread over old ground, but I would first speak of the Grand Plan. Since the advent of the Seventh Astral Era, the leaders of the Three Nations have been deliberating over an accord that seeks to bring the disparate forces of Eorzea together into a single entity. A realm-wide grand company, if you will. The military might of such an institution would be drawn from every corner of the land, and directed against threats that no single nation could hope to overcome alone. Yet, while the purpose of this hypothetical organization is undisputed, the logistics of its formation have become the source of endless debates. And the longer these discussions continue, the more I sense the impetus towards unification draining away. Thus have I been campaigning for the creation of what might be considered a trial company. It will be on a much sc smaller scale than what we hope to eventually achieve, but capable of the same manner of unrestricted operation according to the Scions. Tis my hope that the successful utilization of such a force will lend momentum to the lagging deliberations. Also, being a primarily military outfit, I mean to assuage fears of its misuse by placing the fledgling organization under the authority of the Antecedent. The Scions work tirelessly to protect the Orzia and its people. But as you yourself has witnessed with the Refugee Revolt, there are limitations to what even we can achieve. With this new company under the Scions' command, however, we will be capable of responding to a wider range of difficulties without straining our resources or overtaxing your formidable talents. The goals of my proposed organization and those of the Scions are ultimately identical, a point conceded by all concerned. But before I can move forward with establishing this precursor to the true border-spanning Grand Company, it is yet necessary that I visit the three leaders and gain their official approval. A tiresome and time-consuming task, which is why I would ask that you accompany me on the journey and attend to the business of recruiting our inaugural members while I am otherwise engaged with bureaucratic formalities. Sounds like a plan. Thank you, tis reassuring indeed to know that the bringer of light and her discerning eye will be selecting our future allies. Our first destination will be Limsa Lominsa. Let us rendezvous at Bulwark Hall. Sounds like an interesting proposal. And if the three city-states are already behind such an idea, I imagine we can at least attempt it. It sounds like a reasonable plan. Alright, nothing new from you. Let's get moving. So first off, we're heading to the Bulwark Hall. That would be... I want to say that's Limza. Are we going to Limza first? Yes, we are going to Limza first. And I assume nothing new with any of you? Correct. Nothing new out here. Alright, you all have fun? I'm heading off to Limza. Yeah, it seems like a reasonable plan. If we can recruit people to this trial organization... One, having them under Scion authority would be good. Just for the fact that we are already independent and already trusted and our goals are already... We know our goals and we know our goals are good. So having them be under our command would be undoubtedly, like, the best leadership at the current moment while future plans are drawn up. Just gotta get the people to join us. And, yeah, as Alphano said, if we can get more people to support, uh, we won't need to rely on our few members, uh, our few, uh, especially the Warrior of Light, qu quite so severely for every little task. Ah, there you are. I am ready to ascend to the bridge and speak with Admiral Bluefieswin. While the Admiral and I are finalizing per uh, permissory boundaries and signing parchments, I would have you begin the recruitment process in earnest. I have, of course, endeavored to spread the word of our organization through various channels, but I believe a personal approach will reach many who may otherwise remain ignorant of the opportunity. As for potential members, it is of no matter should they already be pledged to another institution, only that they are willing to lend their strength when the situation demands it. And you need range into the countryside. The upper decks alone are populated with sufficient candidates to suit our purpose. Once you are satisfied with three or recruiting efforts, meet me at the airship ticket counter that we might prepare for the next leg of our journey. Alright then, we're going to be checking just the upper decks, you say? Fair enough, I suppose. This is just for getting an initial set of candidates 
and the initial trial company going. As it becomes more organized and more established, I'm sure we'll have plenty of people willing to join up and do what they can to help. Especially since it does sound like Satoru's already inspired a ton of people to become new adventurers. So hey, who knows how many people are going to be uh, willing to join in on the uh, this new grand company that Satoru's helping to found. Eh, who in the bloody hell do you think you're talking to, Drylander? I'm a pirate, not some sodden knight in shining plate. If you're looking for a self-righteous fop, try knocking on that dandy Carvalane's door. Okay, I'll talk to Carvalane. <clears throat> okay, so next up looks like we're heading down to, makes sense, down to the Blacksmith and Armor Guild. There'd probably be a few adventurers here picking up supplies. Or Hananza herself! Recruiting her, I guess, to make armor for our new group. A precursor to a United Eorzean Grand Company. Hmm. While well, I do admire the scope of your ambition, my responsibilities here at Naldic and Vimelis keep me close to the forge. I have not the time to be traipsing hither and yon across the realm. Should you require my skills as an armor, however, I might be willing to accept some special commissions. I'm good with that. I'm very good with that. Having you on hand to... Except commissions to help us outfit our group would be very helpful and appreciated indeed. Alright, now off to this western stretch. Who are we grabbing over here? Don't come over to this end very often. Okay, remind me, is that Pharaoh serious? No, it is not. It can't be, be yeah, no, that's definitely not Pharaoh Sirius. I wish we could see Pharaoh Sirius from here. Except that looks like the stops of spawning ground, so. No, I don't think that is Pharaoh Sirius. They probably built a new lighthouse after Pharaoh Sirius got screwed over in the calamity. It'd be neat if I could see it from here, though. Oh, real! I know you! Well, if it ain't Satora, I'd not forget a venture brave enough or daft enough to seek the shortcut into Titan's bedchamber. Yeah, you're from the co com uh, Company of Heroes. You remember old real, don't you? Formerly of the Company of Heroes, three whistles at Bronze Lake. Aye, it ain't often I drag me arse out the limbs of her drink, but I'm right glad I did. How fair are you these days? Hmm? You're looking to put together a new crew? Top tier work? Ha! Sounds like a right lark it does. Alrighty, last count me in. The heroes may have gone their separate ways, but I ain't ready to climb into my grave just yet. Hell yeah! Oh, very glad to have one of the company of heroes on board. As irritating as they were do with their freaking trials to try and persuade us to not fight Titan. I do, do respect their abilities as, as adventurers and heroes. And it'll be very good to have a seasoned veteran like Riel along. Okay, looks like next up we are going to be stopping at... Heh! <laughs> we are indeed speaking to Carvalane, and then we're gonna head up to the Marauder's Guild. Fair enough. Marauder's Guild would be a good spot to check. Okay, so we have one definite recruit, one person willing to do commissions for us, not a bad start. It'll take a whole lot more than that to really get this going, but not a bad start. All right, Carvalane. How would you like to join us? An organization with the freedom to operate with t territorial impunity? I must say, your t proposal intrigues me. But the Krakens well know that there is a time to act and a time to watch. And I'm afraid this trial company of yours falls into the latter category. Fair enough. So that's a not yet. I will take that as a not now. Fair enough. Once we do get established, I hope you're willing to join us. And Reiner! Hello there. How are you? 
Master Alpha knows the organization. Yes, I had heard the formation of his trial company was in the offing. Tis with regret, however, that I must decline your invitation. As commander of the Yellow Jackets, the protection of Limson Omensa must needs receive my full attention. Yeah, I figured as much. Hi, Alkazulka. How you doing? Such a pleasure to see you again, Satora. I trust you and Lily have had many a grand adventure since last we spoke. Uh, yeah, she's not with me at the moment, but... Quite well, and in large part thanks to you. Fighting by your side was an enlightening experience, to say the least. However, as is often the case with academic research, it is the unexpected discoveries which prove the most fascinating. I must confess that I am tempted to broaden the scope of my studies, but that is a conversation for another day. We'll check back in with you again at some point, Alkazulka. If you don't know him, he's the job quest giver for Scholar. I don't know, I saw him and felt compelled to speak with him. Okay, so we've got one, one, we have one yes, we have one maybe later, we have one willing to do commissions for us. Not the worst outcome. We'll call that a 50%. We got two and a half people out of the five we talked to. All right, then. Up we go to the airship landing. Let's go meet with Alpha now. I hope his negotiations went well. I assume it's just all formalities at this point, so. Hello there, Alpha now. Satora, your recruiting went well, I trust. I'm curious as to how my proposal was received by the rough and ready folk of Limsa Dominsa. Ah, a member of the legendary company of heroes indicated his interest. Astonishing. I knew enlisting your aid was the right choice. Few could boast the acquaintance of such an elusive character. I too was successful in my task. The Admiral contended to sign all the documents requiring her approval. I can only hope that my visit with the Elder Seeds here proceeds as smoothly. Pray continue on to Gridania at your own pace. I shall await your arrival at Nafika's altar. Alright, we could teleport for free, but we're already here, so... Let's fly to Gridania! And you wanted to meet directly at Nafika's altar. Fair enough. Let's just get to the Aetheride and take that to get there. All right, hello there, Alphano. My audience with the Elder Seeds here is due to commence momentarily. I'd be grateful if you would once more see to the task of recruitment here in Gridania. After you deem the well, uh, well of potential candidates, uh, candidates has run dry, let us rendezvous at the air uh, airship ticket counter as before. All right, sounds like a plan. Four people we're speaking to here. All right, we can do that. Looks like three in old Gridania, so I'm guessing one in new. No quest markers leading to new, so maybe they're all here. Oh, yep, there's a double stacked one up to the north, uh, northeast. Okay, let's start at Miketo's Amphitheater. Alright, who are we asking here? Laurentia! Oh no. Do you remember him? Do you remember this man? The man who called me a bitch before we went into uh, the Thousand Miles of Totorak? Where is... Where is it? Now that I slapped you in the face, how would you like to join us? Oh gods, can it truly be you? By what fickle fortune must the first, say, uh, first face I see upon my release be yours? Oh, you just got out of prison. All right, then. Eh? Could it be that you don't remember me? Oh, no, I remember you. It is I, Laurentius, the man whose crimes you exposed. I was a whaler and a regular patron at Buscarans. Yes, I... now I remember. Well, of course you do. I was beginning to wonder if jail had changed me more than I realized. Not that I have any particular wish to be recognized after my shameful conduct. Hmm. The less said of my past, the better, I suppose. What have you, Adventure? What business brings you to this part of Gridania? Okay, well, you seem genuinely remorseful, so... Recruiting, eh? And what is your uh, policy on reformed convicts? If you're reformed, I'm willing to give you a second chance. 
I'm a little bit salty about how you treated me before, but if you are willing to do the right thing now, if you've truly learned and improved yourself, as matters stand, the Wood Whalers will have not more to do with me. This, this may be just the second chance I was looking for. Revenant's soul, you say? I shall leave at once. You shall not regret this, I promise you. I am a changed man. I hope so, Laurentius. I do believe in giving people second chances. In fact, I believe in people getting as many chances as they need to do better. As long as they are trying, genuinely trying to do better. But I will not deny that I'm a little bit nervous about him in particular. I'm still salty about him calling me a bitch. On the other hand, feels good to be gendered correctly with a slur, I guess. <laughs> Shit's weird. Okay. Next up, Lancer's Guild, fair enough. And then we'll start making our way over towards Upkalu Falls. Uh, yeah, looks like the other one should be on the way to Upkalu. Hello, Sengulid. Hmm, tis not often a guild officer such as myself gets recruited. And this company of yours certainly sounds to have some promise, but its duties appear less than focused. I must refuse your invitation until such time as your organization is more organized. Okay, so we got one yes, one not yet. So, same outcome as, uh, Limza, actually, so far. If we could get a guildmaster to agree to join us uh, for commissions, we'd have an ex we'd be on track for an exact repeat of Limza. Hello there, Ursundil. Oh, I remember you. You're the man who told us about Hawke Manor. You would offer this old man a place in your company of champions. I am both puzzled and honored by your invitation. Pray forgive me, young mistress, but I cannot escape, uh, accept. I have sworn to abide here for whatever scant years remain to me, and bear responsibility for the evils my lady has wrought upon this land. Fair enough. Okay, no, I saw someone lurking by the water earlier, and I'm so curious about them. Because I don't think I've actually noticed them before. Are you just here? Always? Or are you just here for this part of the story? Or what's going on? You... Could you possibly be... No, forget I said anything. My mistake. Okay, now I'm extremely curious. What's her name? Nemo Maimahov? Let me write that down so I can look you up. Nemo... Maimhav or Maimhav. Okay, I'll come back to you later. I'm very curious now. That is unusual. Okay, last one is going to take us to Upkalu Falls. Fair enough. Isildur and Elian! My pack is perfectly fine, I tell you. You'll have to tie me to my bed if you think to prevent me from... <gasps> wow. Well, mayhaps I'll rest for just a short while. Do you remember these two? Do you? Do you? Okay, uh... D -d 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 -d. So we saw them at the beginning of the game when we were first going through our first few dungeons. When we were going through uh, Copperbell, Sastasha, and Tamtar Deepcroft. They were also going through the same dungeons as us. I forget, did they join the Scions? I feel like they joined the Scions for a bit and then fled when the Waking Sands were attacked. I think. Am I remembering that correctly? Grandfather, you must call it a day. Let us return to the guild and rest or your tormented back gives up on you for good. I'm terribly sorry. We were just... Oh, Satoru, isn't it? It's been some time since our paths crossed outside of Copperbell Mines. Why, you were barely more than a novice adventurer then, but look how far you've come. Mother Mion tells me it was you who felled the fearsome Black Wolf. And now you seek stout-hearted souls to fill the ranks of a new order? Hmm, well your cause is undoubtedly just, and my old companion here would be much relieved to see me in good hands. 
Yes, yes, I'll do it. This is the very thing I've spent my entire adventuring career working towards. I shall join your company as just as soon as I've seen Isildur safely home. Okay, you didn't join the Scions. Fair enough. But, good to see you again. You both take care. I'm glad to have you joining us. So that is two recruits and one maybe eventually. I'm happy with that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and meet you over at the airship landing then. Okay, well, I looked up uh, Nemo Maimov, and uh, apparently she doesn't really do anything. She's just there. She has only ever been involved in one quest, and that is the very first Valentiones Day event back in 2014. Uh, so she's just kind of there. I'm curious what's going on with her. What news, Satora? For my part, the Elder Seeds here was most, uh, most amenable to our requirements. Our former wood whaler and a seasoned adventure, our company will not lack for variety, that much is certain. An interesting harvest, indeed. Shall we strike into Uldha while the iron is hot? Let us meet at the Royal Promenade and endeavor to conclude our remaining business. Our journey draws to a close. Alright then, off we go to Ulda. Last place we need to go to get paperwork signed and recruit people. Okay, so at the Royal Promenade just nearby, fair enough. Hello, Genlins. And there's Alphano. Hello! Ulda, the gilded city where one's fortunes defines one's worth. I hope some manner of fortune is with us, and that this final leg proves as, proves as successful as the previous two. Might I suggest descending to the lower level before beginning your recruitment efforts? I do not think the Sultana will take kindly to us poaching from her personal guard. Let us meet back here at the promenade when our respective tasks are complete. Go to hunting, Satora. Okay, fair enough. Don't recruit from the personal guard of Nanamo. That would not, that would probably not go well. Okay, let's start over by the Gladiators Guild. Who are we gonna get here? We've got three recruits plus someone ready for commissions. Not a bad start, but I'd like a few more. Wilred! Hmm? Wait, you're the lady who came to Little Alamigo looking for that masked devil. And you're the one who fell for the masked devil's plots! Who knows what might have happened if you hadn't. I'd probably be dead and a whole lot more of my friends besides. We were such fools. Any road, that disaster really got me thinking. About our homeland and about the outsider who saves us from ourselves. I realized how easily I'd been manipulated and vowed to make, uh, make myself a more worldly man. So here I am. A new company of champions, and you say it will take me to all corners of the realm. That sounds exactly like the kind of opportunity I need. And don't worry, I'm not the same stripling you met in Little Alamigo. I've prepared myself to fight the evil I now know is out there. Good to hear. It's really cool that we're actually meeting up with a bunch of people we've met before. Seeing Wilred trying to improve himself after he got tricked. Seeing... I forgot his name. Laurentius. Seeing Laurentius uh, wanting to make amends for how he fucked up before. Seeing Elian uh, still adventuring with her... I believe it's her grandfather. And try, trying to find some way to keep going while her grandfather very clearly needs retirement. Hello, Orsen. Oh, your name sounds so familiar. Your name sounds so familiar. Oh, what a happy coincidence. Do you remember me, per uh, perchance? I am Orsen of the Church of St. Andama Landama. Thank you again for your timely rescue. And I must also thank you for preventing that fraudulent priest from preying on dry bones less fortunate. A most upsetting business. Are you here with your companion? Thancred, wasn't it? Ah, it's his new companions you seek, then. Your proposed organization sounds a powerful force for good, but my place is at the church with the children. Nevertheless, I wish you well in this undertaking. Thank you, Orsen, and good to see you again. Hope things are continuing to go well for you at the church. She was the one we falsely suspected for a little bit, if I recall correctly. Yellow Moon! Oh my god, Yellow Moon? She's not an adventurer at all. She's just s s some rich lady at Ulda. Why are we talking to her? I'm sorry, you wish to recruit me? Is this some new fashioned manner of propositioning a lady? 
Well, I'm afraid you are wasting your time. This lady is already spoken for. Good day to you, miss. Well, at least she's um, open to the idea of being with women. But no, that's not what I meant, Yellow Moon. <clears throat> All right, two more to go. Hello there, conniving ne'er do well. Oh, I know, I know who you are. Okay, I'll leave you alone. We'll talk to them much, much later down the line. Uh, I recently did quests involving them, and oh goodness, that is a good quest line. But that's not for a while. Ah, you'd be surprised what rumors drift down to Pearl Lane. I know of this glorious new company of yours and just how far I'd go to avoid getting involved with it. Whispers on the street say your organization is funded by corrupt coin, by syndicate money. If you think you're recruiting for a just cause, then you're a bigger fool than I took you for. Okay, then. That was a harsh rebuttal. But not a bad point. We do want to make sure that we're not getting manipulated ourselves. A company that looks to cure the ills of the realm entire. Listen, friend, I can scarce bear the complaints of the next all over, let alone the conundrums of a neighboring nation. Fair enough. Okay, well, we got one recruit. I think we just got one recruit. Yeah, we got Wilred. I think that's about it. Or Sen said no. Uh, the merchant said no. Uh, the guy in Pearl Lane said no. Who was the last one I spoke to? Yellow Moon, of course. And Yellow Moon obviously said no. So not quite successful, uh, as successful, but. How fared you, Satora? What hidden gems did the streets of Ulda offer up to your unrelenting gaze? Uh, one recruit who's trying to do better for himself after he got tricked by the Asians. Uh, I worked with him. He's he's doing his best. And one guy who's really suspicious of us. So, yeah. Hmm, a single Alamegan youth. Well, you've certainly given us an admirable start, even if our ranks are yet somewhat thin. In these troubled years following the calamity, talk of Eorzea's salvation must seem akin to grasping at clouds. But there are those who have risen to the challenge nonetheless, and the hope that inspires these people is born in no small part from the victories you yourself have won. Thank you, Satora. I will not squander the precious gift you have placed into my keeping. These recruits will become the foundation of a new beginning. And yes, we are free to begin. As you have no doubt surmised, the Sultana also graced my trial company with her blessings. Our first wave of recruitment is over, the documents signed, and the finances secure. There is not to prevent me from taking the next step. Yeah, Alphano, can we talk about that just to be sure? You are concerned by the Syndicate's involvement. As was I. Thus was the origin of every coin in, of their contribution carefully scrutinized and recorded. This organization will not be built on corruption. Okay, as long as you're being thorough. Thank you. Thank you for also having the same concerns, though. Naturally, I would prefer not to rely upon outside sources at all. But even my family's substantial coffers could not sustain a venture of this magnitude. Oh yeah, worth pointing out, uh, Alphano's family is like one of the richest in Charlayan. They are fucking wealthy. I think they have like the biggest house in the entire country. Good god, it's huge. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if they had servants for their servants. They are fucking loaded. And as for the rumors and doubts surrounding this enterprise, well, such things shall plague us until the company has had a chance to prove its worth. Fair enough. It will not be an easy process, but we will earn people's trust one success at a time. Speaking of time, we should waste no more of it. Let us return to the Rising Stones and lay the first stone for United Eorzea.
Tell me, General. What think you of Alfino's bold endeavor? I think it is more than bold, Your Grace. His organization would pave the way for a united Eorzea. Well do I understand his impatience, since facing the common threat of the Ultima weapon, our nations have seemed farther apart, not closer together. Considering the many problems we face, should we not be glad that someone else is taking the initiative? We have all pledged our cooperation, yet the grumbling continues behind closed doors. Ulda is not alone in her duplicity. I myself have doubts as to the good this organization will achieve. With the inclusion of the finest soldiers of the three grand companies, it promises to be a fearsome military body. But whom will it serve? Even under the watchful gaze of the Scions, it is not unthinkable that such a force could perpetrate a great wrong. Does it not concern you that a significant proportion of its financial backing came from the coffers of the Syndicate? That those unprincipled worms might forge this extraordinary gathering of warriors into a private army? I have trust in the Scions, Your Grace. They have spared us no end of trouble at the hands of the Primals. If they seek reinforcements, I deem it unwise to deny them. As for their finances, full many gave generously. And though our nobles proffered a sizable sum, their coin did not spill from the pockets of Lolorito and his cronies. And what of the presence of our stalwart adventurer friend in this endeavor? I doubt the Warrior of Light would betray our cause. Yes, there is that, I suppose. Yet I have known people to change. Whether we will or no, the events of the Age hurl us this way and that, like a dust devil skipping across the sands. Cannot be done about Telechi? I have explored all avenues available to us, Your Grace. But as Uldan Law now stands, we lack the evidence to convict him of any crime. To arrest him on spurious grounds would only play into his hands. He has all but committed treason, and yet we can do nothing? What worth the royal house? How deplorable this mockery of justice! Have faith, Your Grace. It is not over. We're gonna have to do our best. Things are definitely not looking great, but... We will do our best, we will work our asses off to make sure this new organization does only good. We will earn the trust of everyone, and we will make those improvements that need to be made. We'll address every issue in the realm, one at a time, until it's finally on the right track. Uh, I don't think anything's changed. We'll talk to Finger to be sure. Okay, yep, nothing's changed. All right, Alpha No. The paperwork is signed. Our initial recruits have been recruited. <sighs> that is not a journey I soon wish to repeat. But I cannot pl uh, pause to rest. The culmination of all our effort is at hand. I must see to the preparations for the inaugural ceremony. 
Thank you for allowing me to monopolize your services, to, uh, Satora. I'm certainly antecedent and will be relieved to see you free for other duties. Alright, thank you, Alpha Now. And with that, next time on Final Fantasy XIV... Before we get back to working with Minfilia, before her next task for us comes a knocking, we're gonna check back in with the post Moogle. We're gonna check back in with the Ixel, and we've got more seasonal events to catch up on. I'll see everyone next time for that.